Afternoon guys, it's James. We are today showcasing the super duper brand new X903D-DU2. This is the all singing and dancing brand new Ducato uh, Fiat Citroen based nine inch system. Uh, there's a few extra features so we'll go through. It carries on with all of the other um, X802s that we've done. So this is the new model of the X902, which is the 903. Ducato base, so this is for the motorhomes. Um, first thing you'll notice, if Tim's zoomed in or zooms out a bit, a little bit, this has been designed for the driver and for the co-pilot. So, a lot of people said they wanted the nine inch screen, but on the flip side of that, they found it was a struggle to input navigation details uh, and other bits and pieces like that. So Germany have listened to what the consumers want and what they've done, let me just turn that down, that's fine. So they now have allowed you to enter the navigation and turn that back over. Once it's fully fitted in the dashboard, it's actually not too uh, difficult to do. At first we thought it was gonna be quite stiff because it's on a nut and bolt type system setup. The microphone is hidden in this top right hand side, so if you're fitting it for the left hand drive mark, it would be on the top left. And it's got all the usual features and mod comms. So one, we don't need to fit a microphone so you don't have an ugly microphone hanging from the interior light. GPS antenna um, is hidden behind the dashboard and we've got direct input for navigation here like so. So you've got built-in nav and you've got CarPlay. Now I don't know if Tim can show you, but we've done something a little bit bespoke on this vehicle. The second cigarette lighter was never used, plus was quite rusty. This is a 2007, it's a 57 plate vehicle we're in. And um, what we've decided to do was to fit an Alpine, still an Alpine part number, but sink it into the bottom of the cigarette lighter. So we've taken the cigarette lighter out We've sawn off the bit at the bottom, removed the cabling and sunk it in and then used hot glue. Now that means that it's really functional for driver or passenger for charging for music and or for car play. So when Tim's got the camera back onto the main screen here, we've got navigation with the camper or motorhome uh, software built in using TomTom Tom maps with updates. And this you can now enter your height, width, and length so that you don't end up in an awkward situation in a motorhome. So running through some of the features on here, uh, the eagle-eyed ones of you will notice already that we've got a couple of knobs sticking out the, the main fascia. I quite like that because if you've ever fitted or used one of these whilst you're driving trying to operate the volume, it's now quite simple. You've got, you've got your volume, and it's easy to use. You've got your next track or your next station toggle and you can just hit left or right. Uh, it doesn't move, it just you can just twist it left or right. Um, the button up here is for um, Siri or your microphone and then at the same time you've got quick access to your uh, music. Now you might have just noticed there the system rebooted because Tim's just put a custom splash screen because we're in a, uh, a Fiat Ducato motorhome but it's a Burstner um, uh, model or uh, coach built camper van um, so that's the reason why we've done that it's a motorhome sorry not a camper van so quick access here takes you out of your nav and takes you to your three music side of things so at the moment this is playing off my phone press it again takes it through to your FM press it again and takes you through to your DAB so quick access to your music um, camera button won't work because we haven't got an aftermarket camera fitted what we have done is we've intercepted the uh, factory or aftermarket reversing camera and built it into this. So for instance, we've got now the factory reversing camera which was on a seven inch display over on the right hand side and now it's coming out on the nine inch display which looks good considering it's quite an old fashioned PAL camera setup on there. Okay, so take it out of reverse. Now we've got quick access to navigation uh, you've got up here quick access to the telephone. Now, any of you that have used one of these before, you will notice a couple of other extra bits and pieces. So if we go out of here, on the main screen, you've now got quick access to the telephone and volume settings. Whereas before, you'd have to press menu or the phone button and go along here to the phone. 
but you don't need to do that anymore. We can just go straight in to phone. You've got your contacts, your keypad, and all the necessary bits and pieces so that you can keep your eyes on the road, but it's highly functional. So navigation built in, Bluetooth dab, all the usual bits and pieces, but the 903 aspect of it are the knobs, the movable screen, and slightly different software. So let's pop the USB in. Okay, let's go back to the main menu, plug in my phone. So my phone should just go in and allow us for CarPlay. Let's just unlock my phone to make sure it's happy. Okay, so you can see it down the bottom there. I've got iOS 13 point whatever it is that they keep upgrading to. And we've got quick access to uh, Google Earth. And we've got access to all the other bits and pieces. So you might find, uh, let's say, uh, I've got Waze on here. We've got Spotify. We've got Google Maps. Um, but we've done loads of CarPlay videos and Android Auto. We don't need to um, bore you to death with these. We just wanted to showcase this today because this is um, a brand new bit of kit that uh, allows you to do a lot more with the driver and gives you still the nine inch dis display on here. So again, moving it left to right, the new buttons uh, and then some of the newer software that allows you to um, access the telephone built in if you're not using CarPlay. So 2007, it's a 57 plate. Fiat Ducato base, as you'll recognize the dashboard, same as the Peugeot and the Citroen, and this is on a burst nut motorhome. If you've got something like this and you like the look of this, then please get in touch with us. This can be supplied and fitted down here at our headquarters here in Paul in Dorset. Uh, please get in touch. It's www.advanced-incar.co.uk. Thanks for watching.